Hey folks, this is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the farm vlog today. As you can see, we have grass and we have no grass. So this morning is a very special morning. We have the fertilizer truck coming out from our local co-op and they're gonna hit this with fertilizer so that it takes off. So come along today on the farm vlog and we'll show you what it takes to make this look like that, okay? We'll throw the drone up in the air, get you some great footage of this fertilizer truck. We're having 7,500 pounds of fertilizer put down today. It's gonna be neat to watch, all right? Woo! So folks, where we are right now is on some new land that we just had cleared probably two or three weeks ago. That's when they finished this up and we drilled down seed with the grain drill. If you haven't seen that vlog, it's right up here somewhere. And this is land that we cleared mm, two and a half years ago, maybe three years ago. And look how good it's doing. It's just flourishing. We're in North Carolina and the predominant grass that we grow here is gonna be a fescue grass. So I planted Kentucky 32. It's an end of fight free fescue grass. If you don't know what that is, it's better for cows. It doesn't have a fungus called an endophyte. So all that being said, the grand goal here is to have cows out on pasture, okay? And the secondary grand goal here is to have a beautiful farm. So our pond is right here. We have a fertilizer truck coming in today and we're gonna put 7,500 pounds of fertilizer down over 25 acres. That's 300 pounds to the acre. That's a lot of fertilizer. And now the reason we have a fertilizer truck come out and do all the spreading is because this is not a small time project. This is not your lawn. This is something that requires a big machine to sling a lot of fertilizer. So probably in about 25 minutes, he'll get done what I could get done in an entire day. Now let's talk about cost. 7,500 pounds of fertilizer put down on my land spread is gonna be about $1,850. Here in North Carolina where I live, things don't cost quite as much as things cost in other parts of the country. I found that out. So folks, if you have a farmer or if you've ever had this done and you know what it costs to get fertilizer by the ton in your area, post a comment down there. I'd like to know, it'd be pretty interesting. So you can probably see right here, these little rows and they're basically about this far apart. We used a grain drill to drill down our Kentucky 32 grass seed. Now we drilled in K32 grass seed, rye grass, rye grain, and Lodino clover, medium Lodino clover. And the reason behind the clover is not so much for the animals, but it's for its nitrogen fixing properties. So clover will fix nitrogen to the soil and help pull nitrogen in, which is what your fescue wants. That's what your grass wants to grow and flourish. And we're doing that in order to get a good stand of grass in. And clover will also kind of shade the ground and retain moisture. I like standing in this transition area, green grass, not so green grass. So guys, we really rolled the dice here. We planted our grass seed in the springtime. Now, we run a risk of drought, okay? So June, July, August, we can get a huge drought here and it could possibly kill all the grass seed if I don't get a good root established. Now we are in mid-May now. It's 91 degrees today. It's baking down this soil. It's putting a hard crust over it and that hard crust is helping to retain the moisture, which is awesome. So what happens is it rains, the soil will absorb the moisture and then a hard crust gets over top of it from the wind and the sun and it retains the moisture and helps build that root population in the soil. Now we're giving it an extra boost here with fertilizer and triple 17 fertilizer for my local co-op is what I used on everything here on the farm. And that's what was recommended. I actually had a fella come out. I did a soil sample and you can do that at your local agricultural center here in your local county if you're in the United States. I sent a soil sample off. I saw what nutrients were needed. I took it to my co-op. I said, here's what I have. I'm planting new grass. What do I need to put down? and triple 17 is what they recommended. So the whole thought process here is we get grass in, we get it established as quickly as we possibly can. We let that grass grow up this high, this high, however high it needs to be to suck up moisture and to provide shade for the little grass that's way down low. So that's why we plant an annual with a perennial grass. The annual grass being the rye grass or the rye grain. Now the rye grass or the rye grain will concentrate its energy on growing a stalk, okay? It'll get a little bit of a root set and then it will grow a stalk and it will grow up and it will help to shade all the fescue grass that's working hard down in there and growing a good root base. Now the fescue 
you don't have to let it seed out. You don't have to grow it up this high and let the seeds come out. It's going to grow outward from underground. They're called rhizomes, and those rhizomes will spread underneath the ground, and eventually all these little lines you see will be connected, and it will be a full field of grass just like this, okay? Let's take you over and show you what type of grass we're looking at, and we'll get you down closer so you can see the little rows. So these little rows, they don't look like much right now, okay? They really don't look like too much, but they'll really turn out nicely. And you can see this soil had a little more nutrient in it, and that's why it's looking so good right here. This was actually pasture that we fertilized last year. Now let's walk up here and I'll show you the type of grass that we're looking for. This is the seed head on the Kentucky 32 fescue, and you can see how green, you can't see the lines anymore and all this land right here looked exactly like this two years ago and we did it in the spring also so guys this is where I ask you click that like button click that thumbs up if you want to give back if you want to help the channel if you want to see more content like this click that like button subscribe to the channel down there and click the little bell that'll notify you when I post a new video so you can see this kind of stuff here on the farm all right so guys we're standing up here waiting on the truck to get here and basically I've got to direct him where to go but I wanted to let you know we've got new shirts this is our new Stony Ridge farm logo and we've got that same logo on the back of the shirt so if you're interested in a t-shirt there'll be links down in the video description i think we have four shirts now we're just going to continue to make up new kinds of shirts so if you have any shirt ideas post them in the comments down below we might use your idea this is somebody's idea all right can see him back here and basically we're getting over the section above the pond that's about two acres right above the pond and then we have probably in the neighborhood of 23 more acres something like that for him to fertilize while all this is going on we'll get you some awesome drone shots of him fertilizing and what he's doing and kind of get you a perspective of the size of this project and maybe help you understand a little bit more of why we can't go organic unfortunately there is no manure source locally for me to do something on the scale of what we're doing here so let's get some good footage and we'll talk you through what's going on with the drone a little bit okay so what we got here we're going across the pond dam and getting ready to start this little two acre section pretty cool spot see those discs on the back of the spreader there just spraying pretty cool to see the dust cloud come off of them we'll get a shot from across the pond here pretty uh, interesting perspective. We'll fly through here. You can see all the dust in the air. The ground's really, really dry. This is the spot where you had to turn around. A lot of times when you turn around in a spot, you uh, spread a lot more fertilizer out in that spot. So you can see the rocks on the ground down there. Interesting, kind of like the surface of Mars. So we're all done with the pond area and we're getting ready to start this section. It's probably 23 acres of bare land out on the pasture land here. Cruising along, you can see uh, that's a hay bale that I rolled out to help control erosion. And there are several hay bales that I've rolled out since then to help control erosion as it rains. This is a good shot of how bouncy it is. And you can see the fertilizer is actually pounding the uh, drone right now. I really don't care too much about getting the drone into some tight spots and getting you guys a good shot. So here's some perspective. These are trees that we left when we uh, cut our timber and they've survived and they look pretty good. They'll bush out and look very nice and provide some shade for our cattle. This gives you a little bit of a size perspective as to how large this area is. And then your top left is, top left of your screen there, is an area that we'll be clearing hopefully in the fall this year, depending on how finances go. But putting a lot of money into our land, but you know, it's, it's making it more valuable every day. We're just not able to access that value at this time, so it would be something wonderful we can pass on to our children. And a little more shot, a little more drone shot. You can see how bouncy it is, just cruising along the edge of the field here, getting it done. That spreader probably slings 200 feet. Now you can see inside the spreader, it actually feeds from the back up next to the cab. And I thought I'd get you one more shot right here, just flying over, and you can get a little more size perspective and just see how beautiful the farm is turning out. You know, all this green grass right here was all grown up in brush and briars and trees when we bought the property. Those bare spots you see right there are places where there were burn piles in the past and we cleaned those up and put grass seed on them. Looking nice. 
All right, folks, we're headed over to a different place now where there's some bottom land and it stays really, really wet. So early summer is the time to get down here and fertilize this area. We're gonna plant some food plots down here for the deer this summer and just have a wonderful place for wildlife. And also we'll be using this for pasture land and for hay. It's a little bit difficult to get to, so hopefully uh, the truck doesn't have any trouble getting there. It's kind of down in a hole. Moving and shaking this morning, guys. Moving and shaking. I like it. So this is the field down here, and you can see it's got some bare spots, and they just need a little more nutrient in the soil, but the grass is actually doing really well down here. And down here in this bottom, we have a brush pile I'll show you real quick. We're gonna be burning that sometime. We had to wait till summertime when all the grass is sprouting. We'll hit it after a big storm. Now I'm about 200 feet away from this machine and it's throwing fertilizer all the way over to me. That's that big brush pile I was telling you about. That thing really, really slings a fertilizer. So probably he'll just make two little runs through here and then we'll hop over to the other field which is directly behind us. It's a little bit smaller than this. We gotta get away from him so we don't get pummeled with uh, fertilizer. That thing slings it, man. 300 pounds to the acre, it's just you know, it's detectable on the uh, on the land, but not too bad. Let's go up through here, it's steep. So while he's down here fertilizing, I'll show you, this is the area he has to go through. It's a little bit tight, it's a little bit steep. He totally knows what he's doing. This guy's been doing this for like 15 years, so he really knows what he's doing. It's interesting to see all the tight spots you'd have to get into on a farm just to fertilize. There's some tight, tight, tight spots, so. He's down here working. Beautiful, beautiful morning, guys. So he's gonna come up the hill and go right over to the next field. We're gonna lead him there. Down we go. Every day is a good adventure, guys. Every day is a good adventure. Here's the new field. Here's the other field we're going to. To give you an idea of scale here, this is about a ah, two acre, one and a half acre field. That brush pile is as big as probably a 2,000 square foot house. We got some burning to do and I'm getting hit. Ooh. <laughs> this place is going to be so beautiful, guys. I'm so glad that I could take you with me on YouTube and share all this stuff with you. I hope it's helpful to you. I hope if you're homesteading or starting a farm or if you're doing any of this stuff, you find enjoyment in it, you learn a little bit and you just have some fun. And, and learn a little bit about the way things really are on a farm. This is the stuff that you don't see. This is the stuff that you don't hear about. This is the stuff I had to learn buying land and starting a farm. Let's get out of here before we get beat down with fertilizer. Oh, it's coming. <laughs> oh yeah, it's coming. It, it's getting me. Folks, we're about to wrap this one up. I want to thank you so much for coming here to the Stony Ridge Farm today. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I hope you learned a little bit of something. We're still slinging fertilizer. Probably got about three more acres of area to fertilize. So I'm going to guide him to where he needs to be. I just wanted to thank you so much for being here. Click the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And click the little bell down there. It'll notify you when I post a new video. Guys, if you enjoy this, if you like this, Please share it on social media. Post this on your Facebook. Let's build this channel. Let's show people what having land and having a farm is really all about and have some fun along the way. So let's go get busy. We're gonna take him to one more spot, but we're gonna say bye to you guys. So thanks a lot. Click the like button, subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you learned something about what farming's really all about. Some of the behind the scenes stuff today. We'll see you next time on the Stony Ridge Farm. Guys, if you want a t-shirt, be sure and check those links down below, all right? Woo! Well, come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life pure and sweet. That's the way it's supposed to be, Stony Ridge. Woo! So he's pulling out of the farm right now, and here's what the bill is. It's alright though. We'll make it back in hay.